Hello everyone, you're welcome to Elite Living TV. Once again, it's a beautiful morning. Thank you for joining us here again today. Please do well to like and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Leave your comment, leave your criticism. Please, please like our page. Thank you so very much. So, this is Elite Living TV once again. Your best plug on matters pertaining to news information just entertainment religion humanity and healthy lifestyle so i'm bringing this um gist which has been making the waves it's the fight between um her excellency the outgoing first lady of anambra state ibe chuku obeano and the wife of um, the late colonel Udumego Ojuku, popularly known as Lady Bianca Ojuku. Lady Bianca Ojuku is, also, is a business mogul and um, a politician. Just um, a few days ago, we celebrated um, Women's Day, World Women's Day, and the topic was breaking the bias, women lifting women. Just a few days after that, I mean, this noble and beautiful women who are supposed to be living examples for ladies and women in Nigeria and Africa as a whole decided to drag their names into the mud, decided to bring womanhood into great disrepute. Their actions, as far as I'm concerned, are pardonable. I mean, it's really, really shameful you know women who hold such dignifiable positions you know we're seen acting so bad and you know acting in a rather despicable manner in public you know a fight ensued at the venue of the swearing-in ceremony of professor charles chukumasoldo when eon bianca odomego juku slapped the outgoing or rather outgone first lady of Anambra State, Mrs. Ebele Chuku Obiano. Media reporters at the venue said the fight ensued when Mrs. Obiano, who came late to the occasion, was going round to greet the dignitaries. On getting to where Bianca sat, she said, and I quote, Bianca, so you are here. What are you doing here? I thought you said you would never support any Abga event again. Ogujuku's wife, who was provoked by that silly remark, stood up quickly and gave Ibelichuki Obiano a slap and dragged her wig off her head. I mean, how petty can it get? How petty. These are two women of substance. I mean, this is a top-notch politician. You know, the wife of late Colonel Odumegu. Ujuku and the second is Her Excellency Ibilichuku Obiano. I mean I really don't know if women who are who who hold such enviable positions can stoop so low, you know, to become so uncontrollable in public. I mean I wonder what they expect the young um, upcoming uh, women to do. Please, we should learn to choose our battles. We should learn to handle matters intelligently. Especially, I think that's a, a downside, you know, when it comes to women in politics and women in public. We are too emotional. I mean, we should learn to apply emotional intelligence. You know, you should ignore some things. Choose your battles wisely. You can't stop to throw stones at every dog that backs you know the, this event or rather their actions caused disruption to the oath of office being taken by professor charles soldo who was signing documents at the time of the slap oh my god just imagine i mean coming there to disrupt poor chukuma soldo swearing in i mean there are other places to do this there are other places to slap and be slapped but not as a, at a public function like this I mean, I'm happy to all women who hold such public offices. This is really 
a show of shame from the pits of hell. This is our beautiful, our, the, the beautiful wife of the outgoing governor of an Anambra state. Look at her looking all classy and sophisticated. And then one would expect her to comport herself in such a, a public event. But no, they went on fighting. And the protest, her wig was, her wig was, her wig was yanked off. Her wig was yanked off. Indeed, it's a show of shame. We also have the video of her husband trying her, telling her to take it easy. Her husband was actually trying to pacify her. But no, she lost her cool. And she called them, little um, Bianca. Insulted her. I wouldn't like to say the words right here now, but she insulted her. I mean in public even when her husband tried pacifying her I mean women we should try and calm down. It's not in public You just embarrass your husband and make everybody know that you don't even respect him because if you respect him I mean you would listen when he tells you okay, that's okay sit down. I mean I really expected so much more from the outgoing first lady of, or outgoing First Lady of Anambra State. I'm just hoping that this would not, we won't have a repeat of such show of shame in the future. Please, women, learn to deal with your issues intelligently. We should learn to apply emotional intelligence. You know, we just talked about women lifting women and breaking the bias. This is a main Thanks once again, guys. Please like Thank you. and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. Thank, thank you.